Well, I haven't done it, but I'm going to. Here's a look at the two beehives I've been working on. I haven't brought you along for the hive builds because I've been a little nervous about using new tools. So I've got it using a table saw and a router, a miter saw, none of which I've ever used before. So especially the table saw, I'm a little nervous about using. So in order to have all my attention on it, I haven't brought you guys along. I'm getting more comfortable with it and I wanna bring you guys along to finish the hive up. Let you watch me build a, another top for the hive. I think I'm still missing some rest for this lid. But this is where I'm at in the instructions. I'll have to build my own frames. Mine are going to be 13 frames. And they're 13 frames because I made a mismeasurement on this board. I cut eight of them the wrong length. And it would not have been terrible if I had cut eight of them the wrong length. I could have got a new board. But I already had all the rabbits in. It's got a tongue and groove joint in here. And it's got rabbits at the bottom. I already had everything in when I realized it was the wrong length. I was getting ready to put it together and the bottom boards didn't fit. And I wondered which one was the wrong length. And when I checked, it was these. Well, the easiest thing to do was to just subtract everything down one frame size because you can change these highs from 12 frames all the way up to 30 frames. I think it is just by changing the amount of frames in them. So I need to build a top for this one and I'm gonna bring you along for that. All right, the one thing I wish that I had done was made that correct measurement because now every time I cut something to length, I have to modify it by one inch and nine sixteen shorter. Every one of these is perfectly measured out in the plans and because of my mistake, and I'm having to change that over and over and over. So be very careful with those beginning cuts if you use these plans. There, I fixed it, guys. Sorry, realized you couldn't see. All right, so there that is done, the inside. And I'm just gonna let the glue on that set up. These are Layens hives. I'll leave plans, links in the description. And I will tell you that they're really sort of, I guess I'd call them an intermediate project. I thought that I was had done enough woodworking that this would not be that hard and i wouldn't discourage you from trying it but definitely read the plans measure at least three or four times i thought i measured enough times but i didn't now i'm having to do a lot of math whereas i could have just followed the plans i just finished the drip edges almost done with the second beehive yeah I'll just attach this drip edge real quick here There's the first ventilation. We'll see if Jerry can get a little bit of video of the second ventilation being cut. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and cut this ventilation. I went ahead and marked it out. It's roughly in the center and it's a three inch long. We're gonna use a half inch drill bit for this because that's what I have. worked real quick this morning painting these up. I didn't film any because I thought it was really boring to watch paint. I wanted to bring you guys up to date and 
show you the painted this is the primer sealer i'll uh, flip these over here in about an hour or two and try to finish any place that i didn't get because there's a little bit around the rim that i didn't get and then i'll probably try to top coat this afternoon but anyway this is this is where i'm at so here they are I can't open the garage door and show you with better light because the wind is blowing real bad out here today. So, but I put, just finished the top coat and I'm pretty happy with the way they look. Now all I have to do is build some frames and these hives will be ready to try out anyway if we can find some bees. So I can put the screen on the outside for the bottom vent. I'm gonna go work on frames now and that'll be a different video. Thanks for following along with me for the boxes, the beehives, and we'll be back real soon.